60 frames per second on YouTube. What? Why, hello there, ladies and gents. This is Spathic. And today I will be showing you guys how to get your settings for 60 frames per second on a YouTube video. So as you can see here, this is just a little test video I uploaded onto my second channel. And I'll just go into settings here and you can see that I have the 60 frame per second option available on the top two, the 1080p and the 720p. And I'm pretty sure that's all that's available as of right now because I don't think they would see a point to adding a 60 frame per second for a 480p video. So let me just play that for you guys real quick just so you guys can see it. And I'll leave a link to it in the description as well if you guys want to check it out. And of course, the, this whole video will be uploaded on 60 frames per second. So you can see that very beginning intro clip. It will be uh, 60 frames per second if you enable the you know 60 frames per second feature here, obviously. <laughs> so let me just go into my Sony Vegas, as you can see right here. Well, why is why is my previous screen so so tiny? All right, so. Uh, I'm just going to start by opening up a new project and this is my old template right here basically um, just open this up and this is HD uh, 1080p and 60i I'm not really sure what the i is but basically this is just going to give you the 1080p option so I usually go with this and as you can see here it's only 29 frames per second so you just go over here to frame rate and you can just easily change that to the closest thing to 60 frames per second would be 59 so let us click that and now it's custom and uh, I'm just gonna start all new projects with these because um, I'm probably gonna only be uploading 60 frames per second video whenever I have a chance if the gameplay like you know is 60 frames per second I'm just only gonna be uploading that kind of gameplay so alrighty so now you have the starting settings for Sony Vegas so now everything you should be putting in here should only be 60 frame per second footage so um, this is my OBS folder and I'm just gonna click on my most recent capture thing because this is just a test run of the Halo 2 gameplay you saw earlier and as you can see here down below you can see that the settings is uh, 60 frame per second for this particular file and prior to this I was only capturing uh, 30 frames per second because I saw no point in capturing 60 frames and having to downgrade when it gets to YouTube but now YouTube offers this new feature that you could upload 60 frames per second footage so I bumped up my settings on uh, Sony Vegas or not Sony Vegas on my OBS to 60 frames per second and if you guys are interested if you guys want me to make another video on how to get that just let me know in the description and I will make another video for you guys but until then these are just going to be showing you, you guys my Sony Vegas settings so let me just pull that in and uh, let's see here let me skip ahead to the gameplay a little bit and um, let's just go around here okay let me just cut that bring this over okay um, as you can see around here like towards the beginning of the clip like some of my frames were dropping that's because my computer is not the best and I was running at an average around 59 frames per second during that uh, intro clip so the first thing I usually do whenever I work with uh, videos on Sony Vegas is I right click on them and I go to properties and I disable resampling because it usually makes the video look better so I definitely recommend this if you guys are trying to get the highest quality possible so just take that and as you can see here the description of the clip is 60 frames per second so you just want to make sure whatever gameplay you guys are using or whatever video footage you guys are using it's at least at 60 frames per second in the settings of the original file so make sure that is the way it is and then I'll just take that and I'll just gonna play this real quick right here so you can see on the previous screen um, it is currently running the display at 60 frames per second as you can see and then once you've established that your video is at 60 frames per second and everything is going well go over to file and render as and now I'll show you guys my rendering settings so I usually go with Sony AVC slash MVC to make it an mp4 file so let's tick on that and then I usually click on internet because I want the video the dimensions to be 19 by 20 times uh, 1080 so let's just go customize template and right here uh, so you'll, you'll see the frame rate over here again at uh, 29.97 so you just want to change that again to the closest possible thing to 60 which is 59 and then uh, just click 
I usually just leave everything the same because high definition, that's basically what I want. So everything is already included in this, the 1080p by 60 frames per second, as well as the 720p at 60 frames per second. So just click OK. And then I'm just going to name this um, test for video and just render that. And then since this is only a what 10 second clip, it should not render for too long. So I'll get back to you guys when it's done rendering. So this is just part of a gameplay that I was just running around testing the 60 frames per second footage. And um, you might see some frame drops in here because my PC is not like the best PC to be able to play PC games. So um, sometimes it would drop down to 59 frames per second, but for most of the time it was at 60 frames per second. And as you can see here, it flows fairly well. And uh, yeah, so this is 60 frames per second on YouTube. Now back to you, Spathic. So now that I've shown you guys my settings on how to get 60 frames per second on YouTube, I hope you guys do well and are able to get your 60 frames per second content on YouTube. So one more little thing, not all games are 60 frames per second. The only game that I know is consistently 60 frames per second is the Call of Duty franchise and I believe they're 60 frames per second since Call of Duty 4. So if you guys are making Call of Duty videos, you guys are pretty good on the footage itself being 60 frames per second but if you're trying to use any of the old halo gameplays then you're gonna have to wait until halo master chief collector edition and because that is gonna be on 60 frames per second so if you guys are trying to make videos for that game you guys are in good shape <laughs> so if you guys have any questions at all feel free to leave them in the comment section below and thank you guys for watching if you guys could leave a like if this video helped you out that'd be great and I'll see you guys later.